Hi, I'm D. Lee Beard and I'm going to show you today how to do some editing with a really pro program called Final Cut Pro. Now, this is a really complex program, but don't worry, don't fret. I'm going to make it really simple and show you how to do some of the basics. I'm not going to show you everything about Final Cut Pro, how to do all the editing features. I'm not going to explain every little detail, but I'm going to show you the basics, give you the basics so that you'll be able to work with video bring it down into the timeline, edit it, add different layers of video, add visuals and apply effects, things like that. So I'm going to cover some of that today. And then our next video, the one after this one, will be our last installment with working with Final Cut Pro and I'll be showing a few advanced features, um, including applying visual effects, color correction, things like that. Final Cut Pro has a lot more powerful tools than something like iMovie and hopefully this will help you out. Okay? Well, let me start off. Now, last time in the previous video, one thing I didn't show you was to save your actual Final Cut Pro document. And in fact, if you don't save it, it will actually <laughs> bring you up a dialog box telling you, uh, you need to save it. And so then I'm going to go ahead and click save. Yes. It's going to ask me where. And remember we talked about location? Click on that. And I said that we should save everything in the same folder, you know, try to keep everything grouped together into the same folder as your uh, files that you're importing. Keep everything very well organized so that you can easily throw stuff away when you're done and not have to hunt around and try to find it or accidentally delete something and then come into Final Cut later and it says it can't find the file. So that's very key. So I'm going to go into my Final Cut Pro tutorial file and I'm going to name this one um, Techies. Ah, got to spell Techies, right? Techies Test Edit. <laughs> that sounds like a good name. All right. In fact, now that you look up here, and you'll actually see it says Techies Test Edit right there. Um, and then our sequence hasn't been named down here. The sequence, by the way, this is a, down here you can have a sequence of, um, it's your canvas kind of thing where you, where you kind of lay all your video clips down here. And you can have multiple sequences. You can play around with editing one way, copy everything, paste into another sequence. In fact, I'll show you. If you want to create a new sequence, you can go New, Sequence. And then you have a second sequence. And if I want to, I can double click it and then it shows up down here. So I can work with two different ones if I want. I'm going to right click on that. I should just go up here and hit delete. That should take care of it. There we go. Now I just have one sequence because that's all I'm dealing with today. Now to get video down here, I've already got a video clip right here. And by the way, if you wanted to change your view, and in Final Cut Express you actually see buttons up here at the top that kind of show you different ways to view. You can actually go into the view menu and you can do do do. Here we go, browser items. And that's what that little window is on the left, the browser. And how do I know that? It actually says browser up there. <laughs> but you go into view, browser items, and I can say as small icons. I can say view as larger icons. And that way I can kind of see, instead of dealing with uh, little small things I can't tell which is which, um, you can actually go to something like that. Um, I'm going to stick with the default because I kind of like the list view where we get a lot of items in there. It makes it easier to navigate. And you, ha you can click on something and you can rename it. If you don't like camera one and you want to say this was the wide shot or this was the close up shot, you can name it whatever you want. Because when you get a lot of clips up in here, it can get a little confusing as to which one's the one I want to bring in. But I'm going to leave that the way it is. Now, to add something to my timeline, I can take it from here and just drag it down. Now, there's a couple of things you're going to see, and one is a right arrow, or if I move it this way, it's a down arrow. Down arrow means it's just going to add it. If you get a right arrow, it means it's going to bump whatever's in there to the right. And so you don't, may not want to do that. You can also drag directly over here to the canvas. Remember in the previous video we talked about this little window over here being the canvas. And it gives me a choice to overwrite, and overwrite means, you know, overwrite anything that's there. Um, in this case, it doesn't really matter, or you can also choose insert. But I find it's real easy just to think about dragging and dropping and make sure the arrow is pointed down and you should be fine. Sometimes you make mistakes and it'll overwrite some video that you've got if you have it set to the, um, to the right. Okay, so then you have a clip here, bada 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 boom, there you go. If I want to add additional clips, now I have, I want some additional footage up here. I need some additional content. And I've actually got a little bit of content here on the desktop. Let me hide uh, Final Cut Pro for a second. And I got a, a folder here where I've created some files. 
And so I'm going to go back to Final Cut. And what I'm going to do, so all I have to do is drag those files over. So I have another close-up camera. I can just drag that directly over there. There we go. I've also got a computer screen video where I captured what I was doing on the computer screen in a previous video that I shot. Um, I might even have uh, an image or two. In fact, I actually have an, a picture right here that I could drag in, a JPEG. All right, then I come back here. And then if I want to add this, basically I can add another camera down here. So the close-up camera, I can just drag it and drop it. And this is where if I was to use the right arrow, it actually overwrote the video. And I'm going to hit Command-Z to undo that. And you want to make sure that you don't put it on top of this clip. If you do, it will erase that clip. You want to put it on top of a second layer of video. So what you've got is you've got one layer of video here and another layer of video there. So <clears throat> what it actually you're going to see, in this case you can see we're actually seeing the close-up camera. And the close-up camera is the one that's on top. And that's the one that it's going to recognize. Now that's for the video. Now you notice down here there's also audio and there's two clips of audio for each video. Well, for those of you that know about audio, that's because there's a left channel and a right channel. One for, you know, different for each ear. And so that's why there's two different audio channels and those are linked with that. So as I move it around, the audio channels go with it. And that's how you move those around. Now even if I now, even if I have the, uh, this one on top, the audio for all of these will still play. For example, let me play just a clip for you here and hit the space bar to play. Welcome back to Welcome another back episode to another of Ask episode the Tech. Of Ask Tech. <laughs> See, they're a little out of sync there because I had two different cameras. And with that, you hear a little bit of an echo of Welcome back to, the, Welcome back to Ask the Techies. And that is because both audio tracks are playing, even though you can't see the visual. All right. I can also add in a specific spot. So if I have a computer screen export here video, I can double click on it and it brings it over here for me. And if I wanted, I can actually set an in and out point and drag just a portion of that video down here instead of having to drag the whole thing down. So I'll show you how that works. Basically you just set an end point where do you want it to start and end with the, by hitting the letter I. So once I get my playhead exactly where I want it and right there and I go I and then I just click over here and let's see and let's, see, let's say that's a good ending point and I'll hit it O, the letter O for out. And now do you see what it did right there? And now all I have to do now is click on this and drag this down here. And it added a third layer of video for me. So in this case, it's going to have me talking and then it's going to switch to the computer screen. And that's how that works. So if you just needed to get a sample of a video, let's say you had some footage of something you wanted to stick in on top of another video, that's a way to do it. So you don't have to bring the whole thing down, try to trim out all the stuff you don't want because you just want this little bit. And if you made a rough cut there, that's fine because you can still trim this out and make it even more detailed to cut. And one of the ways to do that is to zoom in. And I'm going to zoom in right here. You can Remember we talked about before, you can actually click on this and slide down. I'm going to show you one other neat way to zoom in though on your timeline so that you can look at things in detail. You know in Firefox, your web browser, if you hold down the command key and you hit the, the plus key, the plus and equals key, uh, right next to the backspace delete key, it'll zoom in. Here I go, I'm going to hit that Apple plus now. And I'm zooming in. It's putting me in very close. If I hit the minus key or the dash key, it'll zoom me out. And you can see how it zoomed me out. So I'm going to zoom in.